Hello and welcome to this Java tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install the Java Development Kit and I'm going to show you how to install IntelliJ which we're going to use to write our Java programs in. So the first thing we're going to do is to go online and get ourselves a copy of the Java Development Kit. So what you do is you go to Google and you write JTK and the first result should be what we are looking for. So let's grab a version of the Java Development Kit for Java version 8. In here you have to click accept uh, the license and once you've done that pick your version of the Java Development Kit uh, appropriate for your operating system. I'm using a Windows 64-bit machine so I'm going to pick this version. And go ahead and save it and let it download. This should take some time depending on how fast your internet is. Alright, so once you've successfully downloaded the JDK version 8, go ahead and open it. Go ahead and click next. Should be fine. Next. Installing. And it appears that in the middle of the installation it also wants to install um, the Java runtime environment. So let's do that. Click next. Alright, so the Java runtime in my environment is now installed and the JDK is installed. Uh, and it suggests some tutorials, but I guess that's what you're in this video for. So let's hit close and go back online. And now we're going to get IntelliJ. So let's go ahead and go to jetbrains.com. And in here, go to IDEs and find IntelliJ IDEA. Then click download. In here, you will find two versions that you can get. The first one is the Community Edition, and there's also the Ultimate Edition. Community Edition is a free version of IntelliJ. It's got the most basic stuff, basically all you need. Ultimate is not free unless you're a student. Then you might be able to get it through JetBrains Student Program. If you want to try that, go ahead and Google JetRain Student and you should be able to find out how to apply for that. But for this video, we're just going to use the Community Edition, even though I've got Ultimate Edition. But Community Edition is all you basically need for Java. So go ahead and hit Download. And enjoy being productive in Java. <laughs> download this one and wait for it okay so it seems like it's downloaded now let's install so go ahead and click next next uh, leave this next install and now when this is done check run and click finish and we're done with Firefox as well. Okay. So if you have a previous version of IntelliJ, you can go ahead and import your settings. Otherwise, just choose I do not have a previous version of IntelliJ idea. Or I do not want to import my settings. And hit OK. And select the theme. You can choose between these two themes, the IntelliJ theme and Dracula. Of course you're going to choose Dracula because you're cool like that. And hit next. And choose your default plugins. Not going to choose anything. Next. Nope. Start using IntelliJ. So now IntelliJ is ready. Let's hit create new project. Eight, select Java and make sure to select uh, the right SDK. Right now nothing is selected, so let's hit new and then choose JDK. And then we're going to locate our Java development kit. And the place that this is normally installed is in program files and under Java. Select the JTK. I've got more than one version right now, so I'll select the nearest one. 
and hit OK. And IntelliJ should figure out the rest for you. So now it says 1.8, and this is what we want. We do not want any libraries or frameworks. So hit Next. And we're not going to choose any templates because this is a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to do stuff, not let IntelliJ do it for you. Hit Next and name our project. Let's call it Hello World. And it's going to place it in idea project slash hello world. This is fine. And go ahead and create the project. So in the middle of the recording, my recording software chose not to work with me anymore. So just to show you guys how to create a new class, you go to your project here on the left, find source, it's normally blue. Right click, select new, Java class, give it a name. In this case, I've already cre created the class over here because I already recorded the, tut the tutorial once. So ignore the spoilers. <laughs> but create a new class called hello, hello world in one word. And click OK. And you should be good to go then. So the first thing that IntelliJ does is it creates a class for us. When we're going to talk about objects later, uh, classes are going to make more sense to you. Right now the only thing you need to know is that classes is where you put your methods. So let's make our first method. This is going to be the main method, which is the one that Java will run when you run your program. So this is where your program starts and you always need a main method. So write public static void main and then parenthesis, then you write string, up string sharp parenthesis arcs and curly brackets and now you have a main method so we are ready to do something in our program so let's print something to the screen the way you do this is by writing system dot out dot print line ln and in here we can write something to print to the screen like hello world or more specifically we are printing to the console and our program is done. So to run this, go ahead and right click and se select run hello world. And it has now made a run configuration for us. So we don't have to do this. So now we can just use this one in the future. And right now it's compiling some security things. Allow, come on. Yep. And in the background, our program finished compiling and ran. So in the console we now see hello world, which is what we wrote up here. A faster way to write this is to write s-o-u-t and hit enter and IntelliJ will do the job for you. You can just write hello world again and now we can click run up here and it will compile and run the program which says hello world. This concludes the first video. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.